So you guys loved this video where I showed you how to create printable wall art in Canva, save it in multiple sizes, and upload it to Etsy for your customers. Now I'll show you how to create custom printable wall art like this, step by step, so you can add a custom section to your shop. Hi, I'm Sandra, and I talk about selling digital products online to make passive income. So if you're into that kind of thing, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday. Selling printable wall art is so much fun because you get to use your creativity to make extra income online. I mentioned in this video that when I added a custom section to my shop, it increased my sales because shoppers love customizing their prints. I'll show you how simple it is to create custom prints and add them to your store, so you can follow my exact process. Let's head over to my computer. For the most part, the free version of Canva is good enough, but there will be a couple of things that you might want to do that will require the pro version. So if you need the 30 day free trial for that, I have a link to that in the description box down below. Okay, so I'm gonna go to create a design at the top right here, and I'm gonna click on custom size. And for this example, I'm gonna change it to inches and I'll create a 24 by 36 inch artboard. You can create any size you want and just click on create new design. So let's do a basic quote with watercolor behind it that the shopper can customize. So let's go to text at the left hand side here, click on add a heading, and I'm just going to make this a little larger so you can see that. And I'm just going to type in your quote here. Now I'll change it to a font that I have a commercial license to. And in order to upload your own fonts, you do need the pro version. So again, be sure to check out the free trial. You would just go right here to upload a font and then you can upload one from your computer. Otherwise you can do research on some of the fonts that Canva offers because some of them are free. If you have any questions on how to use the commercial license to your fonts and graphics properly, you can watch this video here where I lay it all out for you. So for this example, I'm going to use this font, which I have a commercial license to. I can change the size of this just by dragging the corners or I can go up here and change the size up here. Now I'll just center it right in the middle. So just click on it, go to the three dots over here, go to position and I will center it this way vertically and horizontally. Okay, so now I'm going to add my watercolor. So if you go to uploads right here, click on upload media in order to add in any graphics or images that again, either you've created or you have a commercial license to. I've already done that for these three watercolor elements. So if I click on this pink watercolor, it will just show up right on the artboard and I can rotate it, make it larger, and I'll make sure that I've centered this perfectly as well. So for this example, I'm just giving the customer the option to customize their quote and their watercolor. So I'll go right here to duplicate page, and for this example, I'm going to add in my blue watercolor because I want them to have the option to have blue, pink, or purple. So I'm going to resize this to match the pink size perfectly. You can just right click, send it to the back and then remove the pink one. So that's the second option. And then I will duplicate the page again and I'll add in the purple one and do the exact same thing. Okay, so now I have three artboards with all three colors. Now keep in mind, you can add way more customizations for your customers. I like to keep my custom prints really simple, but you can add in different fonts, different graphics like flowers, a variety of backgrounds. It's totally up to you. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it very basic. So now I'm going to download these artboards as JPEG files because I need to add them as images to my Etsy listing that you will see later on. So what I'm going to do is go up to the top here to download, go to JPEG and make sure that under select pages, all three are selected and click download. Next, we're going to create our images with our mockups. So go back to the homepage of Canva and go to create a design, go to custom size and we'll switch this to pixels and we'll make it 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels and go create new design. Okay, so under uploads, you can upload any mockups that you again have a commercial license to. I get all my mockups from Creative Market, Creative Fabrica, Shutterstock. I've got links that you can sign up for Creative Market and Creative Fabrica for free. So I'm actually going to create all three of these at the same time. So I'm going to duplicate the page, remove this and add this one in. So now I've got three mockups to showcase my three watercolor options. Now I'll go to upload media and I'm just adding in the three JPEG files that I downloaded from Canva. So let's select these and let's zoom in to this one. I'm going to add the purple one here. And all I want to do is just fit this into the frame as best I can. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm going to go to this one and add the blue option in. 
Okay, so I'm happy with all three of my mockups. The last thing I want to do is just add an element that states that this is a digital download. So I'm going to add a circle and I'll keep this one to pink and I'll go to text, add a heading, and I will just type in digital download. This is for the customer, just so that they're aware that they're not going to be receiving any physical product. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to select the text and the circle, click on copy and I'm going to paste it onto this artboard as well. And I'll do the same for the last one. Now let's download all three of these mockups as JPEG files for our Etsy listing. So these are the six images that I'm going to upload to my Etsy listing. And I just wanted to show you these three that I've also created. These are the ones that you've already seen. I just created that in Canva, but I like to add extra information in for the customers in the images, just in case they don't read the full description. So this one states that they will be receiving a digital download and no physical product will be mailed to them. And they're going to receive a high resolution JPEG file or a PDF if they prefer. And I also invite them to send me a message if they have any questions. This one shows them the three watercolor options that they can choose from. And if they want a different color, they can send me a message. And this one tells them the exact information that they need to provide to me so that I can create the digital print for them. I promise this will make more sense when we go to create the listing, but it tells them that in the personalization box, they need to give me their custom quote, their watercolor option, size of digital print that they want and their email address. We have everything we need, so let's go ahead and create the Etsy listing. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, please give it a like and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. To add a listing to your Etsy shop, just go to your shop manager, click on listings and go to add a listing at the top right here. First things first, I'm going to upload all six images that I've already created. So click on add a photo and I'll select all of them at once. So now you can adjust the order that you want the images to show up in and you can choose your thumbnail. So I'm going to drag this one here because I want the purple watercolor to be my thumbnail. You can also adjust your thumbnail by clicking here and you can zoom in or out of the image. So I'm just going to rearrange all of these images. Okay, so I like that order. I'm going to scroll down and the next thing you do is fill out your title. Your title should be filled with relevant keywords to your product so that you rank on Etsy. If you wanna know all about Etsy keyword research and how to fill out your titles and tags properly, make sure to watch this video next where I go into that in a lot of detail. For now, I'm going to start with custom quote printable wall art and then I would fill up the rest with more relevant keywords. But for now, I'll keep filling everything else out. So who made it? I did. What is it? It's going to be a finished product. And I'm going to select made to order since it is a custom print. Then you want to fill out all your categories and attributes. So I'm going to fill this all out. Primary colors, I will just select two of the watercolor options that I have. And for subject, I'm just going to select humorous saying, inspirational saying, and let's say phrase and saying, because it is just a digital custom print. And this could go anywhere. I can select bathroom, bedroom, entryway. It just depends on where people want it. I'll put office and living room. So let's select vertical and unframed. Under type, make sure that you're selecting digital. For your description, you want to make sure that you're including a few keywords in the first 155 characters because that helps with Google search. And the rest, make sure you're as clear as possible with what the customer is receiving. So I've already written this out in a Google Doc. So I'm just going to copy and paste it into here. You can take a look at how I break everything down. I kind of start off with a hook right here. And I reiterate that this is a digital download. And I also explain how to to order. This is literally exactly what they'll see in the images of the Etsy listing, just in case they're not looking through all the images. So you can see that I tend to repeat myself a lot in the listing to be absolutely clear. So I lay out again what they will receive. I also put in additional options. So I'll put in a similar option to this quote. I explain that there are no returns because this is a digital download and they can visit the shop for more. So I always end with the link to my shop at the very end. So I will put this under my custom wall art section and make sure to fill out all 13 tags. Again, the video that lays out how to do Etsy keyword research will explain all of this for you. So under materials, I'm just going to put in a digital download. You don't actually have to fill this out, it's optional. Under pricing, I'm just going to put in, let's say $8. And I tend to put a really high amount under quantity because I'm just lazy to renew it so many times. So I just let it auto renew. Now this is the most important part, the personalization box. Make sure you have this turned on. This is where you're going to list 
list exactly what you want the customer to write out for you. So you'll see right here, the buyer will see, add your personalization. Let's add in, number one, you want them to list the custom quote. Number two, since I have a watercolor option, I'm going to put in watercolor option. So I want them to let me know if they want pink, blue, or purple. Number three, I want them to let me know what size they want in their digital print. So I'm going to put in size in inches, and I'll put in brackets to give them an example, 16 inch by 20 inch. And finally, number four, their email address so that I can send it directly to their email once I'm finished. And that's all the information I need. So you'll see when you scroll down, you have to upload a file, but you're probably questioning, what are you supposed to upload if you don't have anything to offer them yet since this is custom? Well, I upload an instructions sheet and basically let them know what to expect. So I'll show you what that looks like. This is the PDF file that I upload and this is what they're going to receive immediately after they purchase. So first I thank them for their purchase and I let them know that I'm going to be reviewing the details that they provided to me and I'm basically going to be sending them a high resolution JPEG file to their email or if they want a PDF they can let me know and that I will revise it for them if they require any revisions. So I recommend you create something similar and upload this for your Etsy listing. I'm going to upload the file right here and it's as easy as that. You just have to click publish right here and you're done. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. If you are working on your printable shop, you can grab my free checklist from the description box down below. I also have an Etsy digital product seller workbook that will help you get started on the right track. That will also be linked for you in the description box. Next, you can check out my Etsy digital downloads playlist that will give you more tips as you work through your shop. And if you're creating printables using Canva, I have a whole playlist on that as well. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video every Tuesday. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Bye for now.